Hi, this is lesson number three for trigo. So there are six trigonometric functions of any angle and you have to define cotangent, second and cosecant of any angle in Cartesian plane. So please uh, memorize the formula. The earlier you memorize the better. Cosecant is one over sine. Can you memorize it? This is C, this is S. Second is 1 over cos and cotangent is 1 over tangent. So that means reciprocal of the tangent is cotangent. Reciprocal means 1 over something. Reciprocal of cos is cos second and reciprocal of sine is called cos second. So we have three uh, we call as uh, reciprocal of trigonometric function. Okay, uh, so we have uh, to bear in mind that all these formula are not given in exam. And the sign for the trigonometric ratio are same. Sine of cosec is positive in first and second because cosec is 1 over sine, isn't it? So it will follow the sine, sine first and second positive and for the second because we follow the cos so 1 over 4 it will be positive for cos so second will be positive for 1 over 4 and cotangent will be positive for 1 and third because cotangent is 1 over tangent theta all right so uh, you must know that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta and hence cotangent is because it's 1 over so that means we will inverse this 1 over if you 1 over this one this one you will have to inverse up right so it become cotangent will become sine theta over sine theta these are very important when come to proving okay when come to proving you must know that uh, tangent theta is sine theta over cos theta and cotangent theta is cos over sine okay you have to memorize it Okay, so given that A is reflex angle, let's solve this question. What it means by reflex angle? Reflex angle, it means the angle at which quadrant? Okay, uh, we have angle like this. This is called acute angle, first quadrant. Uh, second quadrant is called obtuse. Third quadrant and fourth quadrant, we are having reflex. Okay, so reflex are referred to third and fourth. But... Because they gave you the condition cos A must be negative. Cos is positive here. Cos is negative here. So that means you will choose the third quadrant. Instead of say the third quadrant, they will say like this. They ask you to choose the quadrant based on the condition. So that means you are asking to find the cos A, cos second A in the third quadrant. Obviously, it will be, it will be negative, right? Okay, why it will be negative? Because uh, cosec is actually equal to 1 over sine, right? So we, we knew that the flex is at the uh, third and fourth, but because the cos is negative here, so we chose third quadrant, so we draw a triangle like this. So sine A, uh, we're asking to find uh, sine cosec A, but we, we need to have the sine A. So that means we label the A here. This is negative 12, right? This is 13. So here will be negative 5, like right by right, third quadrant. Okay, because this is negative uh, 12 and negative 5. Both are negative at third quadrant. Okay, so sine A will be negative 5 over. Uh, negative 5 over. If you, if you read, is negative 5 over 13, right? So the answer here is 13 over 5. Why? Because we inverse 1 over negative 5 over 13. So the answer becomes negative 13 over 5 for cosec A. Okay, how about cotangent A? Cotangent A means 1 over tangent A according to definition. So the tangent is positive right at the third quadrant due to, due to the both are negative. So we have uh, 1 over 5 over 12 so the answer is 12 over 5 all right so that is how you 
uh, that's how you answer the question. Okay, so um, it will be positive or cotangent because tangent is positive at the third quadrant. Alright, so uh, so uh, basically when you want to answer the question, you must mark the position of the, uh, by right you should draw the this triangle at the third quadrant like just now I, I mentioned to you. And then you label like this, like what I mentioned. So reflex is the third and fourth. So value of cos theta is negative at the third quadrant because uh, cos is uh, negative at the second and third. So therefore angle in the quadrant number three. So we have to complete the, the side using Pythagoras theorem before we can read the answer, right? So, okay, I hope you, you will get the answer which is so cosec A, again I do, cosec A is 1 over sin A, right? So sin A, we got negative 5 over 13, right? Negative 5 over 13. So finally, our answer is negative 13 over 5. Again, for uh, question number B, I have uh, explained to you, cotangent is 1 over tangent, right? So, uh, third quadrant tangent is positive. So, we are having um, 1 over negative 5 over negative 12. So, the answer will become positive 12 over 5. That is the value of the tangent in the third quadrant which is positive. So, cotangent also positive, right? Okay, uh, other than this, you must know the complementary angle also. Okay, complementary angle means what? It means that Okay, this, this is a, uh, of course it's a uh, reference angle. Sometimes we can say it's angle less than 90. So this angle uh, is 90 minus theta. Okay, uh, let's say this is 30. So this one will be 60 really. Okay, so uh, the relationship is uh, sine, sine theta equal to cos 90 minus theta. You you should know why because as I mentioned to you, let's say uh we just we just label like here A, here B, here C. If you find the sine theta, sine theta is uh A over C, right? A over C and then cos ninety minus theta. Okay, wait. Uh, sine theta is b over c b over c right uh, sine theta cos 90 minus theta also b over c right both will give you the same answer okay agree same thing if you use a cos 90 minus uh, cos uh, cos minus 90 minus theta it will give you sine theta if you find the cos theta let's say cos theta will give you a over c then sine 90 minus theta will give you a over c. That means this uh, complementary angle, they are the same. Okay, so you have to draw the triangle and, and study why they are the same because it will produce the same value for, for sine and cos. Alright, okay, so now I'm going to, okay, I'm going to explain to you uh, the relationship for the sine and cos in complementary angle can be extend further to cosec 1 over sine 1 over cos like this okay this one if you put 1 over you get set 1 over this you get cosec so you get another formula even tangent you will tangent theta let's say you say tangent theta this is b over a b over a right okay cotangent 90 minus theta also will give you b over a Alright, so cotangent theta, uh, cotangent theta and tangent minus theta, they are the same. So this is complementary angle. Example, we can say that uh, sine 30 is equal to cos 90 minus 30, right? 90 minus 30 is 60. So we will get a very special relationship. Okay, between them. Then we can say cos 60 is equal to sine 30. You can just plug in the 
angle inside so this uh, uh, formula also you may have to memorize complementary angle for this topic we got many formula I think we got about 30 formula so that's why I, I want to start fast so that you can have a uh, earlier um, understanding of the formula and then try to memorize it if you can okay for second quadrant let's see uh, I have give you all this angle for second quadrant the angle is defined as 90 between 90 to 180 third quadrant is between 180 to 270 and fourth quadrant is 270 to 360 not inclusive uh. and then the reference angle formula this one you have learned in max right you can memorize it all these are important formula and you can say that sine theta they are positive okay uh, for the first and second they are the same value for the sign okay and then for the the rest it will be negative you know and for the third quadrant you notice that tangent they are same value tangent theta and tangent theta minus 180 degree are the same that means tangent at the third quadrant and the first quadrant are the same this one is tangent uh, uh cos sine at the first and second are the same uh tangent first and third and cos will be first and the fourth are the same value okay these are the shortcut okay so that means you can say that uh, sine sine 30 is equal to sine 150 based on this formula and then uh, more importantly you must know if sine x equal to 0 0.5 okay let's say this is 0 0.5 so you should know that x got two answer you know not only one answer you have two angle one is obtuse uh, this one is very important when come to solution of triangle right uh, same thing go to the uh, tangent tangent let's say tangent 45 it will be equal to tangent 225 so let's say if this is one actually if tangent y equal to one so your y for y from 0 to 360 you got two answer for the angle right for positive you got to answer for negative so you got to answer okay and another uh, example if let's say you got cos theta is uh, 0 0.5 so your theta should be 60 degree special angle and and 300 minus 63 so this is a basic trigo equation or maybe tangent uh, tangent theta equal to negative 1 so first thing you must find your alpha 45 then only you refer to the second quadrant for the theta is 135 tangent is negative and then 315 all right that's how you solve by look at the uh, negative you can tell the angle for the uh, trigo all right so i have actually uh, this is the third, third lesson will be the still basic i have covered with you all the important formula basic formula so how they ask you in the exam they give you cos a equal to q uh, this angle is first quadrant they don't want to tell they just write the angle like that find the value of each of the following trigo cos 180 plus a okay a is uh a is uh, a, a reference angle so if they say 180 plus a you should know it's the third quadrant really right example you just imagine that this is 30 30 plus 180 equal to 210. 210 will go to third quadrant. Right? So it will be actually equal to this is A. A. Uh, reference angle. For cos, it will be negative, isn't it? So it will be negative cos A. Right? So it will be negative Q. That's how you answer the question. You determine the quadrant. If second, second is 1 over what? 1 over cos. 360 minus q when you uh, minus theta when you see 360 minus theta is at the fourth quadrant right fourth quadrant for cos is positive right so you can say it's equal to uh, positive cos theta okay one over cos theta or cos a here it should be a because it was given a so your answer is one over cos a will be 1 over Q and it's, uh, it's a positive because of the fourth quadrant right fourth quadrant so we always ask ourselves which quadrant is that if it is uh, 
uh, negative, it is at the third quadrant for cos, like this. This is negative q. Okay, this is positive 1 over q. Alright, so I hope you understand. So you try to solve this question, see whether you know how to do or not. You are not allowed to use calculator for this question. Okay, so, so you try to solve it. Okay, uh, let's see how to solve this. Uh, you are given cos x equal to negative 24 or 25. Cos x is 1 over what? 1 over sine, isn't it? 1 over sine x. And then sine x is uh, positive. Cos x is uh, negative. That means you are at which quadrant? Second quadrant, right? Cos negative, sine positive. That means this answer uh, will be, uh, for tangent will be negative because 1 over tangent you get negative. And then for for this question, okay, this one is cosec, so cosec is 1 over sine. So it will be positive because sine at the second quadrant is positive. So it's 1 over sine x. So this one will be positive, right? This one is 1 over tan tangent x. So tangent will be second quadrant, right? Uh, positive, uh, cos negative. So, okay, correct. Sec uh, second quadrant. So that means your answer will be 1 over... If you draw a triangle at the... You have to draw a triangle at the second quadrant. So the value is 24, cos 24, 25. That means here negative. Okay, 25, uh, Pythagoras theorem, 25 square minus 24 square, right? What you get is 49, 7. So if you want to read the sine x here, sine x will be 7 over 25. So it's... 1 over 7 over 25, so the answer is 25 over 7. Alright, and then for this one, cotangent x, cotangent, cotangent will be, tangent will be, uh, for b, uh, tangent x will be negative 7 over 24, so cotangent x will be negative just inverse the answer, reciprocal, right? So, okay, then, okay, let's discuss this one for complementary angle. Complementary angle, you have to, okay, let me erase. Okay, let's say I want to, I want to do this one. Mm. Theta is acute angle and cotangent is 4 over 3. Cotangent means a, a tangent, right? Tangent, when we see this one, we always inverse it, right? Positive. Okay, that means uh, it's in third quadrant, right? Tangent positive. And theta is acute angle. Uh, but they say acute angle means it's at the first quadrant, you know, for theta. Okay, so, okay, let's see. Find the value for cos, cos 90 minus theta. Because theta is acute. So, that means if you have, uh, this is complementary angle. Okay, so you can do like that. You can draw a, uh, theta is at the first quadrant according to the question, right? acute angle and then tangent theta is 4 3 here 5 lah. so this angle is 90 minus theta right so cos 90 minus theta is uh, we will take 4 over 5 is positive right because it's at the first quadrant second means 1 over cos 360 minus theta meaning that is at the fourth quadrant right Fourth quadrant for cos will be negative. For, for cos will be positive, right? So it will be equal to positive one over cos theta, right? Positive. 
cos theta is 3 over 5. So we will have 5 over 3. Right, just inverse answer. That means we will take 1 over 3 over 5. So the answer will be 5 over 3. Alright, that is the answer. And that is how you solve the question involving the basic uh, trigo. And for your information, all this special angle, you have to memorize, right? I have teach you how to memorize. You have to draw the equilateral triangle with the 30, 60, right? And then you can read all the answer. 45 also a uh, special angle. So you must know uh, all the value for special angle 30. Uh, 30 for 30, 60 is called special angle. For all sine cos tangent and also cos sec, sec and cotangent. Right, it's the same actually, right? And also 45 degree. You must know sine cos tangent and then uh, also their uh, reciprocal. Okay, so I hope you you got no problem. Example like this one. Uh, let's say I want to, this is actually involving, involving special angle, right? Let's say I want to solve this. So this is actually 1 over, I will write 1 over cos. When I see uh, 240, I will take uh, 240 minus 180, right? I do, uh, actually, this is in uh, third quadrant, right? Third quadrant. Third quadrant for cos, it will be negative, right? So I will write negative cos 60, okay? Uh, negative cos 60, so cos 60 is half if you can memorize. 1 over 1 over 2, so the answer is negative 2. Okay, uh, how you memorize a special angle? I have teach you how to memorize, I revise you again. First of all, you remember like this, this one 30. Okay, I always rem remember the 30 only. 30 for sign is 1 over 2. Here will be 60, right? So here you use Pythagoras theorem 2 square minus 1 square. So then you can read out everything. Uh, you want me to read tangent 30, I can read for you. Tangent 30 is 1 over square root 3, 1 third 3. You want me to read tangent 60, I can read for you, third 3. You want me to read sine 60, I can read third 3 over 2. So you just look at the triangle and read all the angle. Even called tangent 60, tangent 60, uh, second 60, you can read. Because everything depends on the triangle. Alright, example, uh, uh, sine 30 is 1 over 2, uh, cos 60 is 1 over 2. If you ask me second 30, I would say it's 2. If you ask me cos second, uh, cos second, cos second 60, cos second 60 is 2, cos second 60 is 2. Set 3 over 2, 2 over set 3. Uh, cos second uh, 60 is 1 over sine 60. Okay, uh, if second 30, second 30 is 1 over cos, cos 30, uh, this one is over the ballet D. I know the mistake. I just check. Uh, I just check the cos 30. Cos 30 is set 3 over 2. So I just inverse. Okay, so I can check the mistake easily all right so uh even the 45 also you can draw the triangle like this one one 45 here 45 here should be square root 2 so you can give me tangent 45 equal to 1 sine 45 equal to 1 over set 2 cos 45 equal to 1 over set 2 okay all these are special angle and you must memorize it so that you can answer all the questions. Example 7 over 4 pi. Tangent 7 over 4 pi. Tangent 7 over 4 pi, if you press the calculator 7 over 4, you times 180, you will get uh, 315. So 315 is equal to 4 quadrant, right? So it's equal to 360, which is 2 pi minus out the pi over 4. 
right pi over 4 so it's actually uh, 3 and 5 tangent 3 and 5 is negative I can write like this so it's actually negative 1 or you can just uh, double check you press a calculator you will get negative 1 but then you must know how to write like this alright so that is how you solve the trigo which uh, consists of many many type of angles and formula so that is lesson number three i will continue with you for the next lesson then bye bye